Hey, fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about Batman the Animated Series, James Gordon, or Commissioner Gordon. As we see here, he is part of the Collect to Build Lockup line, an exclusive from Target and McFarlane Toys. So if we look on the side, we see Batman the Animated Series, James Gordon, DC Direct, McFarlane Toys. On the back, we have number two part of Lockdown, our Lockup. James Gordon, and we see all the other figures in the line, Batman, Joker, and the Riddler. On this side, we have some artwork of James Gordon. So if I bring in my scale, we see that Gordon is coming in right at 12.6 ounces. So let's get him off the scale and out of the box. Okay, now that I have him out of the box, we can go ahead and look at the card first and foremost. Here we have the artwork from the side. And on the back, we have his data file. Please pause to read. All right, so now we see. Time to look at his accessories. Here we have the big old lockdown shoulder guards with the chains in the middle not painted but it's all right and we come with lockdown's head we come with the bullhorn as well as four additional hands So if I bring in Commissioner Gordon first, we can look at these glasses and see they don't have any lenses in them. They're just hollowed points. Has his coat on as always, and it is attached to the top part, loose on the bottom. You can see his shirt underneath the coat. And he has some shading on here. And no pick holes for the foot. Now this is a reuse of the mold. The first mold for Batman animated. You can see here. And just a different little shading shirt, pants, and skin tones. The original here looks more lifelike. He's a little bit more paler on the new version. Now, this version had the same type of articulation. Does a nice T-pose. Arms go all the way around. Has a nice bend in the elbow on that peg hinge, as well as the wrist. Same type of hinge. Now head doesn't really go up much, doesn't really go down, but does a left and right, no problem. Now the legs do have split capabilities, however the cape will prevent it from doing much. He does have this much forward and backward motion and a single bend in the knee. And there's no rotation at that knee. Now the foot can rotate around a little bit. But that's all you're really going to get. You're not going to get much back or forward out of it. So it is what it is. But you can see here, his bullhorn can go in his hand but not up to his mouth. Now the prior version actually came with accessories and came with a gun. Because, you know, what would a cop be without his weapons? 
So you can see here, I have the bullhorn and the, the gun pistol in his hand, and that's how he's displayed. So the new version is just a little bit different colors and everything like that. If it wasn't for the lockdown piece, I probably would have skipped it because I already have this version. However, eh, and the difference is so I can, yeah, you know, can justify keeping them both on the shelves. So if I pull in my tape measure here, we can see that Commissioner Gordon is coming in right at six and a quarter. That means he will fit in with the Batman figure. And will be just a little bit shorter than Marvel Legends figures. But still good. He'll be on a different shelf. That's where all the animated goes. So remember, this guy is in stores right now. So go ahead, shop around, see if you can find him. Always look for the best deal. And remember, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.